Hey guys, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode 4, part 3. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let Fuck's him go. Fuck's sake, Blue I don't know you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ta-da! Well, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Ta -da! Seems your dog wants a biscuit. <laughs> Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. Aww. Oof. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. Yep. It wasn't just beauty him alone. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pond. Yep. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. It's all over. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're going to do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. I could really Will use that biscuit right now. <laughs> Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good at <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated? Butcher shop. Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's cup. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Did they? How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the fact. <laughs> Well, I think I know how to proceed now. Right. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. What kind of coaxing? It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Crane's Oh, no. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? Power. What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... You just kick them out. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. Uh, he really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done, okay? Oh, I really don't want to, but if I've got to be Toad, come here. If I've got to be close to the comics, I'm gonna have to do it. Stuff to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pond, but you wouldn't exactly. take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages, not a cent more. Mm. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing piece of. 
The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was. I'm just doing as I'm told, dude. In your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Big B. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you. Tom. Yeah. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Yeah. Well, how about your friend? That <laughs> That's just what I was gonna say. I can't say the same to Colin and not the same to him. Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. I can't see anything because all three are bad. See, I've given you something to think about. Now let me add another log to that fire. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of what? Please, Sheriff. Don't <laughs> take the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. No, it's not right. Burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But, you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Best I can do. What a crook of shot <sighs> government by the fables for the fables, my ass. He's in the farm in the comics. He's not a storyline character, but you see him in the okay. panels. You want to talk? Now's your chance. So we've got to send him to the farm. Funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Well, did you or didn't you? <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it I later. sent him! I just you didn't know, know what to say. asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? They knew something. I don't know if the crooked men killed them. Okay, but I know they'll find out. It's about it control. Goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing mm -hmm. what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Yay! I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> Is that a good idea? Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked ah. man you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay i think right looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man so bigby we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Are you having trouble with the rhyme? Yes. Just show me where I can find the crooked man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to crooked man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Who is that? I don't recognize the door, but... That's the crooked man's symbol on it. 
Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. To here? That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Okie doke. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment. I can't guarantee to anything, though. The I might kill him by mistake. Make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. It's bone I'm ready, baby. Choice. Yeah, so in the comics, um, Ichabod is in Paris. Because he comes back in the comics, and technically in the comics is the first time that you ever see him, because this game wasn't out when it was written. But that explains why he was in Paris. Because it kind of touches a little bit how he was the deputy mayor, how Snow was his underling. Um, but never explained what happened, just that there was dirty dealings. So this is kind of a nice little way of explaining that. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Some weird castle. It's a tin man! Oh, hey, dude. Tim, what the hell are you nice doing? Nice mutton chops. Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny. Oh, Tiny Tim. You think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago? I have to admit, when they asked so me Christmas Carol, door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place, or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. Not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Will you just follow me? Fine. Lead on. Oh, look at that face. I can't be mean to him. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard or an escort for that. God. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone... Oh, that's the last thing you see. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. Uh, he gave me a job. Yeah. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? If you work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. Yeah. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind? As well as a cripple? <laughs> you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? <laughs> A lot of Did? us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I can't walk off without him. Thanks. <laughs> but 
some kind of a fucking joke to me. What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, tell me who the I fuck is back scared. there. It's the I, I don't exactly problem. know. I, I just you mind the door. Worry. The it boss is right. there. I like that much. Before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful too. It's a Tweedles. And made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes on. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to do. That's deal with. it then. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Love doing that. Oh, you guys are here as well. Oh, and there he is. I was wondering when you turn up. The crooked man. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no it's idea right, he would. Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job, but you did fine. You can go now. <gasps> you see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Oh, prostitutes. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> Smoke. Threaten him. All right, let's talk. Don't be a badass. Yeah, because that's what Bigby would do in this situation. I don't advocate smoking at all, but Bigby smokes a hell of a lot, so that's what he would do. Oh, next time. Here we go. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. <laughs> the wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. Ooh. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. <gasps> Holy shit. Right, and that's it. So, the previews are never exactly the same as it is in the final episode. Because I don't think we take down... We have a we have our final showdown with Bloody Mary in the next episode. And I don't think it's in that area. But that is that that is a very good teaser for what's about to come. Um, Right. As per usual, at the end of the episodes, we have the player choices. So, did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% of players say... Colin should not go to the farm. Well, I sent him to the farm, didn't I? I could have swore I did. What did I pick to... Unless I picked, like, a very ambiguous answer. That's that's not what I meant to pick, anyway. Uh, did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Um, which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 36.8% of players went to the lucky pawn first. That's quite surprising. Because the story and what you're looking for, it, you automatically want to go to Lucky Pawn first. The story flows better if you go to Lucky Pawn first. Uh, I don't know. Um, did you send Toad to the farm? You and 24.1% of players decided Toad should go to the farm. So that's what I should have picked for Colin. I should have just got the balls and said it. Um, oh, that's it. Because it was when I was injured. And I said she'd probably change her mind. Yeah, I said she would change her mind. I didn't say you're not going. I just said she might change her mind. Um, how do you respond to the crooked man? You and 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, right. 
that is the end of episode four of The Wolf Among Us. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. And uh, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more content. And I will see you hopefully in episode five. Take care now, guys. Bye.